Greetings, welcome to Man Cave Meals. Today we are going to cook a hot and fast 10 pound Boston butt on the Char Griller Acorn Kamado. While our charcoal is warming up, uh, we're going to prep this butt. We've got 10 and a quarter pounds here that uh, we got on sale for $1.39 a pound, so let's get started on that. We're going to get started here by trimming off a majority of this fat cap. So I will get this guy trimmed up and we'll be back to see what's going on. Okay, now that we've got most of our fat cap trimmed off, we're going to rub this guy down with a little yellow mustard. Okay, after we get a good coat of yellow mustard on there, we're going to sprinkle our rub on. Put a nice liberal coating of that. Get it on the sides. Then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll just let this guy sit until our grill is ready to go. So we'll be back. Okay, today we are using stubs, all natural briquettes and apple wood. So I've got some uh, lit bricks we're going to dump in here. And now we'll let our cooker heat up. We're going to shoot for a target temp of 300 degrees before we put the... Uh, before we put the meat on so we'll be back momentarily okay my grill temp here is up to 280 so we are going to uh, go ahead and put this meat on we'll set it right there in the middle over our diffuser I let this grill take about an hour to come up to 280. I brought it up very slowly so I could control the uh, the pace. So we're going to put our meat thermometer right down in the middle of the meat here. And we're going to close this up now and continue to let it uh, come up to our target temperature at about, I don't know, we're looking about three, uh, between 325 and 350. So we're going to start our cook timer now and get going. Okay, we're about three and a half hours into our cook here. We've got the timer going and the temperature probes. Uh, pits uh, pretty much settled in around the 345 degree mark and our meat's up to 166 degrees three and a half hours in. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take. I am plotting this data, the time, temperature, and everything to make a chart to go along with this. So. Uh, if you'll check the description of the video, I'll have all that information included there. So uh, we'll come back and look at it again uh, a little closer to finishing time. Okay, folks, we're right at the five hour mark, and our uh, meat's up to 194 degrees. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be checking on this for probe tenderness here in just a few minutes, and then we'll have a look at the meat. Okay, folks, I'm going to call this one done. I've checked it for probe tenderness. It looks good to go. We're at 195 degrees internal at right at the five hour mark. So I'm going to pull the probe out and we'll get this uh, butt on the table over here and we'll wrap it up. Okay, we're going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it double. We're going to put two, two layers of foil on it and then we'll be right back. And then we're going to take a towel and cover it up. And we're going to let that guy rest for an hour and a half or two hours. And then we'll be back to tear into it. Let's take a quick look here at a little piece where we can, see, oops, where we can kind of see the smoke ring in there. Let me just move the camera. That's what we have. It's looking real good. I 
have a little taste of that. Looks like a good piece. Mm. That's delicious. Well, folks, I'm going to pull it apart, bag it up, put it in the freezer, and uh, call that a winner. So until next time.